Right. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. My name is Jermaine Robertson. I'm with the Robertson uh, team at AZ and Associates Real Estate Group, the best real estate brokerage in the world. But uh, that's a different story. So let me go ahead and explain to you what we're doing right now. Today is our property pick of the day. Uh, we're currently in Bethany Estates. Bethany Estates is located right off of, I don't know, it's probably a subdivision of maybe about uh, about 150 homes that were built in 1955, but it's located directly off 7th Street and Rose Lane. So the property that is currently behind me, the one that we're going to go inside and take a look at, this is a fully remodeled home that was built in 1955. No HOA. It's got about 7,000 square foot lot. It's a four bedrooms, two bath. Uh, 1,756 square feet. I'm not exactly sure of the square footage, uh, but it's a beautiful home. It's currently listed at 655,000. Now, when we looked at the numbers, we noticed that the majority of the homes similar to this in this area were selling anywhere between 550,000 all the way up to 610,000. This home has happened to be on the market for 44 days. Now, now remember, there is a theme uh, to what's going on with homes being on the market a little bit longer. Uh, the seller has, now this is an owner agent and this is a prop. Um, they have disclosed that there was some issues with maybe the sewer or whatnot. So the property is being sold as is, um, but 44 days on market could mean that that's a motivated seller. Not to say that it is, but it could be. So if you're interested in a property like this, then I think this is a home that you should definitely come and take a look at. So we're gonna go inside. We're going to take a look at this home and uh, we look forward to uh, getting some feedback. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, all right, so immediately when we walk in, we notice this wood plank floor. Uh, now this may be a, uh, this may be some type of um, linoleum or some type of uh, tile, but it looks like it's covering the majority of the ground and we're gonna try to get some lights on in here. So again, we're in Bethany Estates. This is a four bedroom, two bath home that was built in 1955. And the square footage underneath the roof, and just to give you a little look on the outside, got a little rose garden. You have these huge picture windows that is, uh, most people when they see picture windows, they think ideal spot to place a Christmas tree at. But uh, it's four bedrooms, two baths, 1,700, above 1,700 square feet. The home was built in 1955. No HOA. It does have its own private pool. This home is located right off of 7th Street and Rose Lane, which is just one and a half blocks north of Bethany Home Road. It's been on the market 44 days. Now, what we're looking at when I'm in terms of price for this home. This home is priced at $655,000 and that's super cool. They got some snacks and some drinks out here. The home is priced at $655,000. It's a complete remodel. Uh, now it's a little bit more on the pricey side. Now what we're seeing in the area is the other homes are actually selling for somewhere in between $500,000, $550,000 all the way up to uh, $610,000. So it's a little bit more pricey but this home does have a pool. And again, it's been on the market 44 days. So that could be a motivating factor for the seller. So as we take a look around at this four bedroom, two bath, uh, completely remodeled home in Bethany Home Estates, 1,700 square feet. And uh, this may be a garage conversion. I'm not too sure. But it is a four bed, two bath, and uh, it is completely remodeled. It does have a slight step up right here. This is the laundry room, additional cabinet space, very clean uh, from what I'm looking at. 
uh, lots of white. That tile right there is a very popular tile that is that uh, uh, used as a backsplash for where the uh, the uh, oven is. And I love that tile right there. I love that. I love that tile. I think it is very classy, very classic. We started seeing that tile right there probably about uh, maybe four or five years ago. It became very popular, very, very, very popular. Um, and then back here, you, it looks like you, this is like a, like kind of like an Arizona room, um, but not like what you would see uh, if you were in the West Valley. Uh, Arizona room where it's just kind of, you know, a day room, lots of natural light. Again, so it's a 7,000 square foot lot. It's a four bedroom, two bath. It does have its own private pool. Does come with additional storage. RV gate. Now it does not have a pool in uh, garage, but it does have a pool through carport. And then that's gonna be your heater. It's got a, uh, it looks like it's a variable pump, uh, Hayward uh, pool, little jacuzzi. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie with uh, Eddie Murphy trading places and they asked him if he wanted to get in the jacuzzi. Check it out. <laughs> Beautiful pool. It looks like the pool was just done because it does have uh, self-cleaning pumps in there. So you don't have to worry about too much maintenance, but I'm not super familiar with it. All the windows on the house have been changed. They're vinyl. They have the, the natural tint on the inside of it. It appears that the roof is in excellent shape. These are all things that you're going to be looking for uh, in terms of uh, trying to assess whether or not the quality of the home. Just from the eye uh, is a good home. Uh, AC unit looks like it's in good shape. Uh, that right there, that line running up there is actually a foam line. So you do, it's not a high power electric line or anything. Uh, you got about two and a half feet of, of decking around the pool. Uh, very low maintenance. It looks like it's mature landscaping. So yeah, you'd have to get a landscaper out here, but uh, that would probably be at a very minimal cost once a month, uh, just to really kind of keep your yard in a, a, a premium uh, looking position. But it's good how they got the uh, pool pump and everything kind of hidden back here. And then they also have this tarp up here which is going to protect it from the sun and, and really kind of extend the life of uh, that equipment back there. And it looks like that stuff uh, probably controls the lights. Uh, if there's any water features, it'll control that. That actually is the filter. And then that may be a heater. I'm not sure. I believe it is. And then you have your little jacuzzi right here. So again, we're in Bethany Home Estates. This is a four bedroom, two bath. This is a beautiful home that was built in 1955 completely remodeled this is an agent owner property a tough shed and so we'll go back inside and we'll take a look around the rest of the home and uh, just get an overview but all in all it appears that everything on the outside looks really well the exterior of the home looks good um, the interior of the home from what we've seen looks excellent and now back into the kitchen, you have all white uh, cabinets. This is gonna be an area for your refrigerator. And then that's gonna be your pantry right there. And then you have your white cabinets right here. You have your quartz or this may be some type of granite countertop. Your, uh, I don't know if that's a convection or oven uh, or a microwave. Then you have your gas appliances right here. You have your stainless steel uh, air hood right there. And again, I love this backsplash. This is now this backsplash. I've seen it in a lot of places. I, I mainly see it as a backsplash or I see it as uh, the flooring that people will use inside of bathrooms. I think I, I just I like it. I like it a whole lot. Um, and then you also you also have some additional uh, backsplash right there. And now we're back in the living room. So good space, 17, a little bit over 1,700 square feet. And again, the lot is 6,500. Uh, this is gonna be space for your pantry, or I'm sorry, your uh, linen closet. And uh, so we've seen one bedroom over there, and this is bedroom two. And uh, this is going to be the owner's suite because it has the bathroom attached to it because this is a four bedroom, two bath. So the other three bedrooms are going to actually share one bathroom. Uh, but
But this is this is indicative of a home that was built in 1955. They've actually extended it uh, to, to create some more space. Um, extended the baseboard right here. You got about a four inch baseboard and then you got the wood plank floor. And bathroom. Oh, let's look at the bathroom in here. I'm trying to get a overview. Oh, so this is a nice tile that they've actually used inside the bathroom as well. It's a full walk-in. And uh, I think it's a great use of the space. Frameless shower. I like it. And I especially like the um, I like the uh, the features in terms of the um, uh, um, the light bulbs up there. Those are what you call Edison bulbs, where they kind of sh they're decorative, but they're really nice. I like it. And then even in the hallway, you can show see that they're showcasing those as well. And now here's going to be bedroom three, and this is this is a bedroom that has carpet in it, all new windows again. Beautiful look at the pool. I think when I think of this home, I'm more so thinking that this is a very nice, a very quaint home. It's not super big. The maintenance is very low. It's in a great part of town. It's very close, convenient location to anything and everything that you could want. I think this home is, is going to fit a lot of people's style. But again, it's a little bit more on the pricey side because at $655,000, the majority of the homes that we're seeing are selling for somewhere between five hundred and ten. dollars and then, um, or 550,000. And then I think the highest one we've seen is like 610,000. So it's a little more on the pricey side. Um, so that could be, that could be based on the fact that they could be pricing it, uh, on what they feel like the market is bearing again, 44 days on market. That's, that's quite a long time. And so we'll, this is bedroom three. And then we have another little coat closet right here which I wouldn't be surprised if this may have been where a hot water or a, 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 some type of boiler or a hot water heater was at uh, because this would have been a common closet for that back then. And then again, you have your, uh, your, your light fixtures and they all have these decorative bulbs inside of here. Get those LED now. And then here is going to be the second bathroom. And Wow, they really, uh, I really like these bathrooms. I really like what they did to them. I think everything is very uniformed in terms of um, how they designed and styled it. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't really that country theme. Uh, it's more of a little historic and maybe some other, uh, some other attributes that they factored into it. Then you got additional uh, cabinet space and whatnot here. So gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this is the fourth, the fourth and final bedroom, but all of them have great views of the pool. And that is a beautiful pool. It's not a big diving pool. It's just a small uh, soaking pool, but you also have your jacuzzi. Uh, you got a pretty high wall out there to give you some nice privacy. And then you have all these really nice awnings that appear to be in really good shape. Uh, the, the, the metal, the lattice on there, and then even the um, actual awning that is covering some parts of the pool covering this little patio area and then also covering the pool supplies out there. But I think the home was done really, really well. I think they, they, they very tasteful, um, just kind of between me and you. It's definitely a home that I feel like I would put an offer in on if I'm looking for something uh, that is in this, this area uh, at this price point. I think that's definitely something that I would uh, make an offer on. So, there you go. Uh, this is our property pick of the day. Uh, beautiful home, Bethany Estates. Home was built in 1955. Four bedrooms, two baths, 1,700 plus square feet. Comes with a pool, uh, conveniently located in North Central Phoenix, right off 7th Street and almost Bethany Homes. So a little bit block, couple blocks uh, north of Bethany Home off Rose Lane, but uh, absolutely gorgeous, fully remodeled, and uh, may or may not have a motivated seller. I don't know, but 44 days on the market, owner occupied, 
Uh, it's definitely a house to have a conversation about if this is what you think uh, will fit your need. It's an irrigated property, so uh, I believe water is going to be fairly inexpensive and uh, no HOA, so you don't have to deal with any of the, the hassles that some people uh, deal with on that. And again, the reason why we want to showcase these property picks of the day is a couple of reasons. We want to showcase what's available on the market. We need people to start knowing that there are, there are tons of homes in different price ranges, different sizes and locations all over the valley that are available to you. Um, and not everything is being snatched up within the day or two. I think, um, you know, if we're not done with those days, we're pretty much close to done with those days. I think that time may have come and gone. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for people to still be able to show up and buy a home. With the holidays coming around, people are going to be able to close on their home before Thanksgiving and celebrating a very, very, what better way to be thankful than uh, being able to walk into your own home and prepare a meal in there on Thanksgiving Day or Christmas um, and then start your New Year's off on a really good foot. So if this is a property that you think that you could be interested in, I want you to give us a call or reach out to us. Our contact information is right there. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about it in general or any home that we've previewed, then I want you to feel free to go ahead and reach out to us and let us know how we can help you. Uh, that's what we're here to do. But uh, anyways, have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the home. God bless. Take care. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Adios.